Billy and Molly had one favourite shop in town, the pet shop. There were lots of different animals to enjoy. <laughs> visit Farmer Hegarty's farm, where they could help him with all his animals, like salt and pepper. Thank you, Molly. Even horses feel the cold sometimes. That blanket will keep you nice and warm, so... <laughs> the two girls learned a lot about animals, like what they like to eat. Kitty and Scrap, goats will eat anything. <laughs> and how they behaved. Be careful, Farmer Hegarty. Aha! Uh -huh. A goat has to get up pretty early to catch me out. I've been around animals all my life. They can't trick me. <laughs> and Millie and Molly were even able to teach some animals tricks. Ready? Go, Wags! <laughs> someone to look after his pet mouse while he went on holiday, Millie and Molly didn't hesitate to offer help. So do you think you could look after him? Sure, Harry. We'd love to look after him. Yeah, we'd love to. Gee, thanks. He really likes warm places and you have to be really careful. Uh, we know all about animals. It'll be easy. Easy peasy. But I don't want anything to happen to him. Oh, don't worry, Harry. We know how to feed animals and teach them tricks. And we're always kind to animals. But there is one special thing about Brian. He likes to escape. Don't worry. We'll be extra careful. So Molly took Brian the mouse to live with her while Harry went on holiday. But not everyone was happy about this idea. Oh, Molly, a mouse. I can't stand mice. Oh, he's all right. He's friendly. Look, Mum, he's so cute. Oh, put him back in his cage immediately. But he doesn't bite or anything. I don't care. If we have to look after that thing, he has to stay in his cage at all times. You're not a thing, are you, Brian? You're just a cute little mouse. Mum's right. The best place for Brian's in the cage. <coughs> Besides, he'll be safer there from Tomcat. No, Tomcat. Brian is not your dinner. He's our new friend. Your new friend, Molly. Oh, and please take that cage off my dining table. Come on, Brian. You can come and live in my room. Millie's coming over to play soon. <coughs> no, Tomcat. Brian is a friend. Naughty. Don't worry, Brian. I won't let Tomcat eat you. Well, Dolly... What do you think of that? I like your gesture, Mama. But there isn't enough yellow in it, and it needs stripes. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. I'd love a cup of tea. Thank you very much, Dolly. Well, my servants have gone out, so I hope you won't mind if I give you tea myself, since I am a princess. No, I don't mind. <coughs> cage and in your room where it can't cause any more damage. As far away from me as possible. Don't worry, Mum. I know how to look after animals. Oh, that little thing gives me the Tomcat. Sleep properly until it's gone. For Molly. I'll switch the light off. 
to say. No, no, you're hungry. Put it down. Isn't it time to repair your sensitive teeth instead of just numbing the pain? Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief. Yes. Is that your knee on my back? No. no. Mommy could get that angry. Well, never mind. You can visit Brian here until Harry comes home tomorrow. Brian will be safe. Go away, Marmalade. She's as bad as Tomcat. I said go away, Marmalade. Brian is not for eating. Don't worry, Molly. I won't let Marmalade near Brian. And I know how to look after animals. And I definitely won't let Brian escape. Brian! But even before Molly had gone home that morning, Brian had already escaped. Come out, Brian. Harry will miss you if you don't come back. Billy and Molly looked everywhere. Not in here. It's not under here either. Brian, where are you? Brian, Brian. Don't hide from us, Brian. Please. Come out, Brian. Brian. Billy and Molly had no idea where he'd got to or how to find him. But they knew enough about animals to realise Marmalade was likely to be the best at finding Brian. But Marmalade didn't seem to be interested in hunting anything. And when she didn't seem to want to eat her dinner, Millie and Molly had a sick feeling that Marmalade had already found Brian. And they would have to tell Harry that they weren't as good at looking after animals as they thought. Poor Harry's going to be very sad if he doesn't have a mouse to come home to tomorrow. Yes. Unless... That gives me an idea, Molly. Did you get it? This is all the pocket money I have. That should be enough with my pocket money. The dark one's too dark. And the brown one's too brown. Well, take the grey one, please. Yes, the grey one. It looks just like Brian. I hope Harry won't notice. The next day, Harry was back from his holiday and came to collect his mouse. That wasn't really his mouse. Brian, Brian, I'm back. Time to go home. It's me, Brian, Harry. Brian, what's wrong with Brian? It's like he doesn't know me anymore. Oh, uh, well, maybe he just needs a little while. To remember you. Huh? Brian? He's not even trying to escape. Brian's always trying to escape. Yeah. He doesn't even want me to touch him. We should just tell him the truth. Truth? About what? Well, while you're away, well, something very, um, bad happened. Bad? Look, Brian! Marmalade didn't eat him! What? But you! They're gonna to talk to each other! Two Brian's? Really cute! <laughs> what was that about your cat? Well, Harry. So Billy and Molly explained 
everything that happened. Never believe it. And it's everything crazy. they thought had happened. But Harry was very happy to now have two mice instead of one. So he forgave Millie and Molly for trying to trick him because they told him the truth. In the end, Marmalade? and Marmalade seemed to have her appetite back. A few weeks later, Harry brought a surprise to school. Baby Mike! The bride he bought me wasn't a bride at all. He was a she. Brian and Bryony have had babies. Millie Molly, you can have first choice if you want one. Oh, no thanks, Harry. Not with Marmalade and Tomcat around. That's right. And looking after mice was much harder than we thought. Can I have one? Can I have